Hello, everybody. Hey. This here is uh, Full Spectrum Cycling. This is show number 220. 220, y'all. 220. Isn't that part of the busing system? Probably. I think back in the olden times, yeah. maybe. I don't know if they still do. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Stretching the boundaries on that koozie, man. Oh, I know. And this is what happens when you need a downshift of the Arizona iced tea. I didn't know that they still made these. In case everybody doesn't recognize it, that's JK. Hello, everyone. Been a minute since he's been on the show. Wait, I... Damn it. Been a minute. I, it's one of the I things hate I hate that. the yep, most. I know. I don't And like I just it. said it. You hit a yeah. crutch? I just... Crutch. To, be just fair, to, to be fair. To be fair. It's been a few weeks since JK has been on the show. Right. Do. Tony's over there, too. Mm-hmm. With a mm-hmm. with a DDA oh they don't even have that in cans mm-hmm. anymore I don't think the DDH fluffy from uh, double dry hopped fluffy from Amorphic Sweden. today's today's kind of a beer light show I've got uh, Coors Light and I think that's the only other beers in that's the all house in there. I think sorry this, I had a lots to do I think this is Arnold Palmer I believe that is an Arnold Palmer light. light that's the light I it's like that light. one way better yeah. the other one's too sweet Arizona tea uh, by the by Swinging Door. They have they make their own, I guess. I mean, it's not like it's a complex they're, they're, recipe by any stretch. Um, their raspberry iced tea is phenomenal. Yes, I love oh, that. they had a delightful hot dog. Oh, tell me, huli huli. So a split, grilled, awesomely bigger than normal sized, sweet Hawaiian barbecue and ham and Swiss melt on top. Wow, it was way too. It was big, it was and that big. was. Four bucks. bucks. <laughs> wow. So, aside from the, the lack of libation, your routine hasn't changed much? No. Gotta go to the swinging door. <laughs> gotta go to the swinging door. No, no, the door. no, no. no. There, was, there was a moment there where it was like, I guess I know people go through life change, and it's like, oh, hell. Because I remember a buddy of mine had uh, contracted uh, hep C. He was mm-hmm. like, can't drink. No, 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 no. His doctor was like, no, you can't. And that's it. All right, you know? yeah. He's like, okay, fine. You know, can I blow weed? Well, blah, 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 blah. Okay. If I smoke marijuana, does that have any impact whatsoever on your diagnosis of me right now? No. No. Nothing whatsoever. Thank you. Come That's again. all I needed to know. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, yeah. Now it's just more of a transition to that part. Well. It's just simple as hell now. So it's going well. Well, it's kind of like the snow cane with me. <laughs> snow cane? Well, yeah. Back way back in decades ago. Um, you know, there was the snow cane out in the world and on occasion would be like, oh yeah, give it a shot. Uh, but then I had like a super nasal infection mm. that like calcified like one side of my face, elephant man style, like it oh, came out. Jesus God. So it's like cellulitis of the max alley capillary or whatever. So it's this massive infection. And if it, if I don't treat it and it breaks, it goes to my brain and I die. Oh, freaking fantastic. So, guess what? I don't introduce into my nice yeah, system no a good more. Idea. Probably. Boom. Okay. Probably a good plan. So, Never. I'm, I'm kind of using that as my model. There you go. Yeah. Ta da. It's, it's certainly not something anybody should deal with anymore but just because of all the potential for fentanyl oh, yeah. being added into your. Never did it. Never will. Yeah. Stay away from the drugs, folks. That's yeah. right. Except maybe Good naturals. I don't know. You're going to have to look in there later. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Um. Uh, yeah, and good old fashioned caffeine. We, we did. Uh, I, I have to interlude. I had to in, so I may be chatting. interject just a little about because since we talked about the swinging door, but I took Paul um to the airport. Uh, Paul K, who River West Twenty Four, Paul K, um that guy yeah. to the airport to go to New York, and we stopped at Fixture Pizza. Uh huh. Uh-huh. And I'm just going to throw out that oh damn fun. Down in the Bayview, it, it's on. It's no, it's on the South Walkers. Second, right next to the old Milwaukee Brewing Company. On oh, Walker. right on, yeah, yeah, yep. yeah right across it's, from Smith. It's it has a good beer selection. The food is all handmade. Um, I had a, I I've said this forever that Swinging Door has the best Caesar salad, which is what made me think of it. You talking about yeah. Swinging Door, and um, they beat it. Wow, it is oh. fantastic. That is good. Yeah, they make their own dressing. Yep. They that's, do ever according to them on the on the uh, menu. They say you know please be patient. We make everything from scratch. Yeah, key to key to a Caesar's make your own. Oh, and this was it, I highly recommend it. It's a, and the side is a meal in and of itself. Sorry, I, I digressed enough. Let's talk about bikes. Oh, uh-huh. 
Well, I I, did. I biked over there. You guys mm-hmm. rode your bikes over mm-hmm. here. Uh, Van Muth got bought mm-hmm. by some some semblance of the McLaren Group. I don't know exactly yeah, how that a works. Spinoff or some sort of the McLaren fine. Group. As long as they have McLaren money, that sounds like a good plan. Right. It's a good, I mean, they've already got an established clientele. They just got to make them happy now. And they have an established product that now works well that they'd have just to produce now. So it's almost a Mm -hmm. no-brainer. Boy, was it warm last weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was uh, Tour de Towner. It was also the Goonies ride, which I did not make. I did not either. But the Tour de Towner, I did make, and I think it's the lowest turnout I've seen. We had like, (laughs) I think eight people started. I think Lloyd and I were the only two that kind of <coughs> did the entire route somehow. Well, yeah, I ran into Lloyd just a little earlier, and he was like, dude, there was nobody. Well, it was 95, probably. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it At was, 9 a.m. And I, I did still feel it, like, on Tuesday, too. Not, right. I mean, and we didn't even really, like, imbibe hardcore. I just think that I kind of dehydrated myself. Right. Mm-hmm. But uh, it was, you know, it was tradition. Yeah. You, you if I were in town, I would have done it. I, yeah. If I were in town, I would have done I forgot Goonies, about and it. I would have done that one. I but, forgot about it, but I worked in my basement, which was a nice, balmy 60. Yeah. I love basements for that. So we're doing this show today. I mean, yesterday. Yeah. Because on Tuesday, it was 94 degrees in the shop. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> brutal. Now it's 78, so I'm pretty sure that's a lot better. A little bit. And I think we're in for a good stretch of decent weather. Yep. Here in the old Midwest. Very pleased with that weather outlook. Kind of has a good semi-fall feel to right, it. Right, right. Light jacket, maybe none, but nothing to worry about. Yep, yep. You're not going to freeze. Right. Apparently, the folks down at Rays in Cleveland are starting their season soon. Preseason, I believe, starts this coming weekend. They don't They don't stay open during the summer, huh? I suppose no, not. They didn't like, at the other right. one here yeah, either. Yeah, I think it's like... They go through like May, so June, July, August. They're building. Yeah, new stuff. Plus, it's and- also hot as hell. I'm, I'm sure they don't air condition that joint because it's massively huge. But uh, so yeah, raise raise season starts. Uh, you can get that at raise mountain m- raise mtb.com. Check that out. If you've not ridden the raise, don't break your foot, but go have fun. <laughs> yeah, but have you looked at the pictures from the Cleveland one? It's cool. It it's is way bigger. Yeah, and they're and they just keep putting stuff in there. It's yeah. much the space is utilized really well and. It is. It would be. It would be worth a trip from anywhere in the Midwest. How far is Cleveland from your six? <laughs> Probably. We could, we could look it up on the Googles. We could do that. I would say it's six hours. So it's worth an overnight trip, not a run there and come back trip. Right. Yeah, you have the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. There's also people have told me about. There's a somewhere in the that section of the United States is a uh, underground quarry. It, yeah, I've heard about I think it, it might be in Kentucky, maybe. Is it? It's Kentucky. Supposed yeah. to be really fantastic. Jason from the, the one of the big cyclocross guys in town. Um, I'm drowning metal by guy's last name. Uh, he's done it and said it's absolutely fantastic. Sounds awesome. Speaking, like speaking of awesome, I'm going to push the green button. Button. Hey, welcome to the radio program, caller. <laughs> Who do we have on the line? What up, y'all? It's big sexy. There he big is. Sexy. It's it, it's it's been a minute since we talked to Big it's Sexy. It's been a minute, <laughs> for sure. You know, I'll, I'll tell you what, boy, do I miss Wisconsin. Why yeah. is that? I'm in Ohio, and I swear to God, every every fucking town I I pull through in Ohio is like a little piece of Mississippi dropped in in the fucking Ohio somehow. Wow. So, you know what's round on both ends and high in the middle? Is oh, it Ohio? Yeah. It is Ohio. <laughs> one of your one of your granddad jokes right there. So, uh, Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, Ohio sucks. Uh, what One good thing that's happened uh, here in Ohio is that uh, my, uh, my right rim decided to, to shed a couple of spokes and I, I had just put on the, I put on two, two brand new rims, left, lefty and righty had brand new rims on 4th of July. And mm. I looked at the, I looked at, at righty over here and I said, man, she lost five spokes and now she's starting to turn. I'm like, I'm going to call Schwinn. I called Schwinn. They sent me a, they sent me a free rim. I'm getting it. I'm getting it tomorrow when I get to Worcester, Ohio. So, Right on. Well, they're taking care of you. 
Right. Well, and I'll, I'll tell you what, it wasn't it wasn't because of the rim. It was because of Michigan and Ohio kicking the fucking shit out of my bike. Since you were here at the end of uh, July in Wisconsin, where have you where have you hit? What, what was your path? Well, um, uh, me and James uh, Coyote, uh, Wiley Coyote, we went up to Saginaw, Michigan, and that's another place where Mississippi just <laughs> planted itself right there in Michigan. And uh, and me and me and James uh, is James there? No. He he's not. Okay, okay. So so me and James uh, through R- River West twenty four, and through like almost two weeks in Saginaw, Michigan, we were side by side. That dude was so sick of me, and I was so sick of him. It was funny. It was it was it was comical, but we we were fine, right? We were cool. So I got I got the ride to Saginaw, Michigan. And then uh, we we did some work for his friend there in Saginaw. We were working on a house that was dilapidated and blah, blah. We, we, we did so much work on it. We were cleaning it up. We were making it good and things like that. And we, we did a lot of work cleaning up uh, a lot of that news property. And it worked out. It, it actually killed a lot of time that I needed to kill because uh, a lot of my uh, friends, especially my friends here in Worcester, were, were not ready for me until right about now. So it was good. It was good shit. But uh, I'll tell you what, man, the infrastructure in Michigan and Ohio, it's like, I don't know whose pockets are getting fat, but so many pockets are getting fat because these sidewalks haven't been worked on since before I was born. Mm. Right. If there is a sidewalk, if there is a sidewalk, if there is a bike lane, it is dilapidated and just like shit. Mm. Yeah. And it makes me miss Wisconsin. It makes me miss, miss Wisconsin and Minnesota so much. Yeah. I, I think we're going to see more of that as we as we move on in the decades because, yep. it, because especially pedestrian and, and bike infrastructure is just not important to people, unfortunately. Right. And, you know, we're all well, getting because, older. Because who needs a bike lane? I'm not riding my bike. I'm on my phone. <laughs> That's another one. <laughs> don't don't get me started on that. Oh, Tony's on his phone right oh, now. Oh yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> That's what I do. I I I ain't here to get you started, man. It's all good. Don't um, don't wind me up, I brother. Want tell you all, I want to tell you all that uh, my experience in Milwaukee and uh, the River West Twenty Four was. Absolutely wonderful. I had a great time. I got laid. It was awesome. <laughs> Good on you, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe you all aren't familiar about how often I get laid, which is not very. So, like, for the first time in a year and a half, at least, maybe even two years, I got laid. So that's important. Well, at least to one person, or maybe two in this case, it's definitely important. So yeah, well, this was so this year I was actually on a team, so I kind of kept running across you, but being like moving, gotta keep moving, gotta keep moving, and I just yeah, it was yeah. a little it was a little different than when I could uh, just kind of sit on the side of the road and watch the ra- the race go by versus actually participating in said event. Trying, we were trying a sort little of. bit. I mean, for the first couple of hours, me me and James, me and James Coyote, we were. Uh, we were drinking, and, and he's like, let's go back to my place for a second. I'm like, okie dokie, and I passed out on, on his couch, and he passed out on the bed, and I woke up at like 5 in the morning, like, oh, fuck. That'll, like, that'll we, happen. We missed it all. That'll, well, yeah, that'll happen during a, a 24 with James at times. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, I did not pass out on the sidewalk, not even once. <laughs> <laughs> River West is forever grateful. <laughs> And I'm I'm wearing, I'm wearing my uh, right now I'm wearing my River West T-shirt. I can't remember the dude's name, but he gave me a River West T-shirt. It's got the map. It's got the map of River West. I know where Bremen's Cafe is. I know where Vegas is. I I, I know where everything's at. And uh, or at I, least I, two I of the dive bars. I can't, I can't even all dive bars. I can't bars even start to. 
I can't even start to tell y'all how much I love that fucking neighborhood and, and how much I, I, I will be back again, whether you like it or not. <laughs> well, the guy, by the way, Steve Booth is the guy that did that shirt. And he, I don't, yeah. I don't know how long it took him to figure out to, to use the letters of River West, but it says like Rivet Weezer or something. <laughs> it just, but when you look at it, you go, yeah. it says River West, but it really doesn't. And he just kind of rearranged the words to right. make it. Somehow get Weezer in it's, there, which is kind of funny. It's R R V I T W E S E R. Yeah, something. And I'm like that's good enough for me. I I I recognize that map because I was studying it for, you know, for the last couple of days. Right I know on. where things are at. Hey, look, there, there's the Kroger where I uh, I made out with some hot dogs. <laughs> Awesome. So now you're in, are you in Worcester yet or is that where you're headed? Um, yeah, I'll be, I'll be in Worcester tomorrow. I'm about, I'm about 20 miles out, but, uh, my friends are not expecting me until late afternoon tomorrow. They got, they got to work and all that shit. So the the problem is I would have been way past Worcester, but they were, gonna, they were in, uh, Nantucket for Labor Day weekend. You know where Nantucket is? Oh yeah. Yep. I don't have the money to go to Nantucket, but I know where it is. Um, I'm hope I'm hoping they didn't spend all their money there because holy shit, I am I, I'm I'm coming in light. But anyway, no. Uh, but they were they were they were out of town last weekend, so I had to kind of pump the brakes and hang out in like suburban Cleveland, which I thought was going to be okay. But man, suburban Cleveland is like uh, Trent, New Jersey. You. Uh, just. Uh, we go down there to Ray's indoor mountain bike park. We won't stay in the suburbs, right? <laughs> yeah, no. I, I'll tell you what. And then, and then you get to Akron, and you're like, oh, thank God, I'm in Akron. I'm outside of Cleveland. It's like, oh, nope, nope. Not, you're not out of the woods yet. But and tweakers and tweakers and crackheads everywhere. I was like, oh man, you know, it's it's been it's been a little bit rough. And you know what? The peop the people have not been mean to me or anything like that. It's just I, I just have I, I've been uh scraping by, especially as far as donations go. And, and and it's like, okay, well you're in that part of the world, so you just gotta keep on keep on moving. Northern northern Nashville is on the map. Uh Kentucky was good to me last time I was through, so is going to keep it in mind that uh, that is not always going to be uh, cooler full of beer and uh, and whatever I want to eat for for lunch. You know, it, it's not always like that in Wisconsin and Minnesota. It's like that, but you know, whatever. <laughs> so, what's your what's your end game for the season? Are you are you headed towards uh, New Orleans? Absolutely. Um, now there has been talk of. Uh, me hitting the Tampa Bay, Florida area first before I go to New Orleans for Mardi Gras. I don't know yet. We haven't decided. I'm well. I'm going to Tampa. I'm going to Tampa after Mardi Gras or before Christmas. One of the two. Haven't decided yet. Is that where your mom is in Tampa? Yeah, that's where my mom. That's where uh, my mom is in, in Tampa. How did the latest hurricane affect her? Anything down there? Well, um, according to my mom, I haven't seen any of this online, but according to my mom, uh, one of my favorite towns in Florida, Perry, Florida, which is north of Tampa, uh, southeast of, of Tallahassee. It's a small town right in Florida, right right on the uh, right on the taint of the United States. If you if you if you follow me, <laughs> it's all Florida. Um, <laughs> It literally, uh, uh, Perry, Perry, Florida got blown off the map. They got significant damage from that hurricane. It's one of my favorite towns in Florida. I really hope they're okay. I mean, I know people there, but I don't know like their name. I don't have their, like their contacts or anything like that. Sure. Like I've, I've, I've been through there a couple of times and they, they all, oh, hey, look, tricycle guys back in town. What's up, tricycle guy? I'm like, what up? How you doing? So I really hope everybody's okay. 
there wasn't any deaths or anything like that, but uh, but uh, 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 Perry Perry, Florida took a beating. Yeah, I think a lot of places down there have. My, I just talked to a guy that I knew a long time ago who had been in Florida and Fort Myers, and the, the previous one, not this past one, but I think Henry or whatever the last big one was, wiped everything he had out, and he had to come back here or wanted to come back here because he can't even get insurance to rebuild down yeah. there right now. So. Yeah, it happens. Well, right. when you... We know why that happens because uh, it's windy. Yeah, down. Exactly. It's, <laughs> it's just like it, it's just like oh yeah. If you give us if you give us such, such and such money per month, we'll we'll cover you if something happens. And then when something happens, like oh well, we didn't mean that. Yeah, that happens. It, that it, happens it, here it, too. It, it happens everywhere, and and it, it, it's it's one of those things. It's just like the Circle K. Um, I don't know about Circle K's up that way, but in Ohio, I lost my I lost my ID in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. I, I, I must have just left it on the counter for some reason. In Ohio, a couple of places in Michigan, but mostly in Ohio, I have I, I've been denied beer and cigarettes because I didn't have my ID. And I look like a seventy-year-old curmudgeon. <laughs> Can confirm. <laughs> and, 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 and it's like it's like when are people going to uprise and say we don't have to show you ID? We're old. And but nope, nope. Everybody's just everybody's just like, oh, okay, they want to see my ID. Okay, well, here it goes. Uh, well, I'm a, I uh, put it up to uh, to corporations being lazy. That they won't spend the money to train their people to, to recognize an underager buying booze or buying cigarettes. They just like, okay, just ID everybody. That way we don't get fined. Right. Yep, exactly. It's in all the and, airports, and they're, too. They're, 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 yeah, they're just being lazy. And, and it, 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 it frustrates me that, well, if I had my ID, I wouldn't care. <laughs> right? Yep. Yep, but I, I lost. I, I forgot my ID in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. So, and I can't get it back until I get to Louisiana, which isn't going to be until after December. So, and I'm like, I'm like, you know, I'm old enough. You know, I'm. I mean, come on, I'm on a tricycle, and I'm, 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 I'm not gonna, I'm not buying for for young children or anything like that. Uh, and, but no, and, and you know, in in to argue with the clerk is like it, 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 she's her boss told her to do this. His boss told her to do this. You cannot argue with them. It's not their fault. Oh, sure. Absolutely. But it, it's so hard, especially when they got, they got a six, they got a 12 pack of 16 ounce hams and they won't sell it to you because you don't have your ID. It's like, I can't find hams anywhere else in the state. <laughs> all right man well we're gonna we're gonna wrap the show up on this end but uh let's catch up in a month or so and see what's happening with you yeah it sounds good man um a uh, month or so i should be uh approaching nashville so cool that might be interesting yeah get get some road stories and for hey, us <laughs> and hey look um i don't know i don't know if you were in the um in the uh in the comments or the uh, or the description or whatever, if you got if y'all want to donate to my cause, I would really, really, really appreciate it. My Venmo account is uh, Jason Dash Becker Dash sixty. Um, and like, I, like my sign says, anything helps. It's been it's been a little rough through Ohio, and I could use a couple bucks to keep me moving. All right, man. Well, let's see if we can make that happen. Cool. That, that'd be cool. But I mean, I mean, like, like a lot of your listeners already already donate to me on a regular basis. So don't you know if you've already donated, don't fucking worry about it. You you bought me a couple shots during twenty four, and <laughs> and uh, like Jane took care of me for almost three weeks. I don't want to ask anybody for anything, but if you can, awesome. All right. Okay, everybody, big sexy down there in Ohio. Uh, thanks for calling in, man.
Peace. Hey, no problem. You all have a great time. I got, I got some more stories I didn't even get to, you, so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk in a couple weeks. All right. Okay, right bro. Bye. All right. See ya. Thanks, y'all. Yep. Hey, everybody. That was Big Sexy on the road on Heather the Tricycle. Left a wallet in El Segundo. Left my wallet in El Segundo. <laughs> he left it in That's all Eau Claire. At the Eau, yeah. Eau Claire Amundo. Strange <laughs> things are afoot at the Circle K, man. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, if he left it there, you'd think you could be like, aren't there Circle Mac, get it? Is that, Circle K it? everywhere? It's like, send it to the one down here in your <clears throat> interdepartmental mail or something. It's a regional-ish. Oh, yeah, it's kind of like a quick, quick trip or yeah. a Casey's or one of those yeah. or something. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I got nothing really more. JK? Steel is real. Oh. On the Saturday. Is it? And. A pick up and drop off. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Poker Riot. Yeah. September 9th. That's coming up, what, tomorrow then, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Something else. Well, I'm I, so I, I know. Work, I'm not saying and I. So, and, and so, my 49th birthday. Oh, awesome. Really? This weekend? Yeah, they're having a poker ride and a bike ride. Just for you. Just for me. Just it's for amazing. You, this motherfucker. Is well, happy birthday. Oh, thank you. So I'm not saying I, I dropped the ball on Steel Israel. I just kind of let it slide. And uh, I think. Take it, Lisa. Lisa picked yeah. it up again after, I don't know, she did it 10 years ago or something. And uh, there was a guy that had set up this thing called the Vintage Bike Ride, which was. He wasn't going to worry about whether he had a steel Carrie. bike. We never, yeah, we He's never, we never did worry about if he had a steel bike for the ride. We just said, we just teased you. If we're gonna, if we're gonna award things, it's only going to be for steel bikes. But uh, yeah, so that and I'm curious. I don't know if I'll have time. That's why I didn't want to get into it because yeah. I've got till the 15th of September to get out of one storage place until the 30th to get everything back in the mutt factory here. And uh, we got our old room back. Why are you calling it the Mutt Factory? Well, because dogs down, they got dog food downstairs. Oh, that's cute as shit. I like it. I like it. it There's no be, dogs, though. They're just dog food. Dog food and cat food and yeah, that's stuff. Yeah, dogs. Why did you call it the Mutt Factory? I don't know. It's a nut factory. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we got our old room back. So maybe next show, show after that, we'll actually... Be the forty eighth time I've moved the podcast. <laughs> oh, From whence it began, it's going to look almost exactly like this, but over there. So, I, it, at least it's an easy move because it's about sixty feet away. Right. So, it's an awesome. I, idea I'm too. I'm excited about the future because we spent two years chasing a dream that never was going to work, and now we're going to actually make this work on some somewhat different scale. I I we're not going to be full retail, but. We'll still help people that have been good customers in the past. And oh, what? What's that noise? Tony's leaking. <laughs> <laughs> he sprung a leak over there. You know, you know, when you got the balloon and you're you know, the O ring and you pull it a little bit, like beep, beep, beep. There, bingo. Uh, one other thing to mention, just so everybody's still aware of it October 7th, Osage, Iowa, Fattoberfest. I'm 97% sure that I'm going with. Chewy and Spinner and Kayla and oh, all the nice. people from Rochester and uh, Decora and whatnot. And it sounds to me from the scuttlebutt that there will be a lot of people there. You can camp for five bucks, five dollars. And they have, five. and they can have I real, camp naked for five dollars. Probably they have real bathrooms, they have real showers, and they, you can pitch a tent. Well, I don't know if the band's back together. We'll do this next week. And yeah. uh, thank you. Thank you very much for listening. Yeah. And bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah.